Hello and welcome to episode 64, the missing episode about double bass microphones. Uh, this should have been ages ago and it got recorded and sort of forgotten about. So I've resurrected it, um, found all the clips, put them back together. The basic idea to take a double bass and record it with what would really be described as not the go-to microphones. What do I mean by not the go-to microphones? Well, what I mean is you're looking at a big instrument, very bassy, probably pretty decent quality and usually thought of as difficult to record. So you put your best microphones on them, of course, don't you? Well, what happens if you haven't got access to really good microphones? I mean, maybe you're looking at a Shure SM57 and that's about as good as it gets. Can you still record a double bass? Well, the answer is yes, of course you can. Um, the double bass is not, at first glance, an instrument that has much going on at the top. But in actual fact, there's quite a lot of HF content from a double bass. Usually by the strings being slapped with the right hand side, fingers at the top. It's quite common with double basses that the way they're played is a mixture of twanging a string, but also doing things with your other hands. Now, what do I mean? Well. If you're going to go from one note to another, you can actually sort of do that, play the string. You can then do that, play the string. That's what most string instruments do. But because double bass players tend to have arms like sort of vices, uh, very often you can go from that note to one that uses really all the pressure of all four fingers. And it's quite a percussive slap as you put that down. So bass players can do slapping with their right hand by banging the string against the fingerboard but just going from there to there is a percussive element too and so there is HF content from a double bass uh, and it's often forgotten about. What happens if you've got you know ordinary microphones, ones that you use for recording acoustic guitars, are they any good? Well yeah they are. Um, pretty much all of them will need some EQ to make it sound nicer. Double basses can sound very mellow, very dark, but equally, they, if you're not careful, they can sound very bright and slappy when you don't want them to. So for this test, I just gathered as many microphones together as I could, plonked them all at the same distance from the double bass, and just played the same thing over and over and over again. I set up two microphones in pairs, did two, did it again, changed the mics, did it again, and so on. And I included some mics that I wouldn't have normally chosen. Um, I quite like these Bayers, the M201s, the hypercardioid dynamic mic. I quite like those for all sorts of things, even voice. Um, and I thought I'd give that one a go because I've never tried that on a double bass. And I've got quite a few of these things. Now, these things are Chinese electrics with a detachable capsule. Um, they actually come with either a cardioid capsule or you can actually have an Omni capsule um, or a Hyper. Uh, there's three different capsules available. They're clearly designed to look like an AKG 451. Um, and they're quite bright sounding microphones. Uh, I, I quite like them. I've, I've got a set of 12 of these that I used to use for conferences. Um, so you could put 12 of these out and people could chat to each other and it could all be recorded and it was it was pretty good for that and it's they're nice microphones but they're a bit bright and I wasn't sure whether putting that on a double bass would work. Uh, I've tried a few other microphones that really are designed for speech uh, not really for music so they're in there too and I even included one of those really cheap and nasty BM800 Chinese condensers that you see sort of everywhere you know they if you look on the internet, on eBay, whatever, th these little BM800 microphones are everywhere and they're actually not a bad microphone. I mean, they're very cheap. They're very, very sort of hard and bright sounding, but I'll stuck one of those on it as well. So here comes the test.
I think it's pretty common ground that we can agree that they all sounded quite different. Did they sound better than each other or did they really just sound different? Uh, I'm not certain there are any clear winners. There's lots of preferences. Some people, I'm sure, will like one particular one over another. Um, a few of them, uh, like the mic we discovered was a counterfeit, the, uh, the Sure PG-52 that we reviewed a while back when we discovered it wasn't real at all. It was one of the counterfeit ones. Um, even that sounded not too bad. Uh, I did try and use the AKG 112, which is the microphone that I often use on uh, kick drum, drum, drum kits. Uh, I quite like the slightly brighter sound that 112's got. So it's been my favourite kick drum mic for years. And I thought, well, I'll try that on a double bass too. Um, but somehow all of this got forgotten about. I'm glad I've resurrected it. So you've had a chance now to, to listen to loads of microphones on double basses. And if nothing else... It might convince you that just because you haven't got a particular specialist microphone for recording a double bass, you know, where you perhaps see AKG 414s and uh, U87s and all the clever ones. If you haven't got one of those, can you still record bass? Yeah, of course you can. Um, you just need to add appropriate EQ. But these have actually sort of, I think, done pretty well. Even the real cheapies have not been terrible. And I think although they sound perhaps a bit thin, uh, with a bit of EQ, I think you could get away with those. So uh, it's an interesting test. Just hearing the difference between lots of microphones on the same instrument. Uh, it's probably far too many for a sensible test because you can't really compare. Uh, but it does give you the differences between them. And maybe you can draw some conclusions. And maybe if you've got some of these microphones, try them on a double bass if you ever get a chance. Can't go wrong. So there we go, episode 64, all about recording double basses on slightly unusual microphones. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.